The good old schnitty needs no introduction. It's a family favorite and you'll love our fresh idea to give it a little twist. This one is gluten-free, nutritionally approved, but most of all, crunchy, golden, and full of flavor. All right, so you will need two chicken breasts, a packet of Woolies rainbow coleslaw, I've got one royal gala apple, one egg, a third of a cup of Greek style yogurt, 50 grams of Parmesan cheese grated, two lemons, a half a cup of natural almonds, a bunch of parsley, and I've also got four corn cobs to serve later and some extra virgin olive oil spray. We're baking this schnitzel instead of frying it for a little bit of a healthier spin. So preheat your oven to 200 degrees fan force. Now there's a little bit of a difference to how I'm making this crumb for our healthier schnitzel. I'm using some almonds, so I'm gonna blitz these up and these are not only great for flavor, but they also add that much needed crunch that you kind of miss from deep frying. Yes. <laughs> this is not working. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Now empty that into a bowl. Now I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese to our crumb. Now I'm gonna add the zest of one lemon and make sure you keep that lemon after you've zested it. We're gonna use it later in the recipe. So I finally chopped that bunch of parsley that I had before. And of course, let's not forget to season with some cracked black pepper. And now let's give it a little mix to combine. So I've actually brought in my own rolling pin from home. This is actually my favorite little dumpling wrapper roller. I'm gonna use it to bash out this chicken. So you can see that some parts of the chicken are thicker than others. So just place it in between a sheet of baking paper and bash away. Next, crack an egg into a shallow bowl and lightly beat it. Now we start our crumbing process. So we've got the chicken, the egg, and the crumb mixture we made before. So let's get started. Into the egg, and then straight into the crumb. Spray these lightly with oil then it's off to the oven. Now these will take about 25 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. And in the meantime, we're gonna make the slaw. A fresh, healthy slaw is the perfect addition to this classic dish. And to this one, I'm gonna pimp it with a royal gala apple, which is in season right now and crisp and delicious. And now to stop that apple from turning brown, I'm gonna put it in a bowl with the juice of half of our zested lemon. Just spraying myself with lemon juice. And the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get you? Sorry. Now make the dressing by combining the Greek yogurt with half of the remaining parsley. Squeeze in the other half of that zested lemon. Now mix that together. And if you need to loosen it a little bit, you can just add about a teaspoon of water. It's time to dress the slaw. So I'm putting in those apples, the rest of that parsley, and the dressing. Oof, they look good. Look at them, golden, cheesy, crispy, delicious. So serve up that schnitzel, good helping of that steamed corn, heaps of that beautiful colorful slaw that we made. And to finish, just a little lemon wedge. This easy, healthier chicken schnitzel will be a new family favorite.